Do you agree with the, that uh, the left is more violent and oppressive than the right? No, I don't, Jesse. And why not? Because there's no evidence to suggest that. Communists killed 70 million people in China, more than 20 million people in the Soviet Union, not including about 5 million Ukrainians. Here's the situation from South Central. Drivers of automobiles and trucks that enter this area can expect to... Uh, oh, look at that. Terrible. And there's no police presence down here. They will not enter the area. This is attempted murder. So you have not seen the violence and protest, for example, on the inauguration day of President Donald Trump. There were uh, violence. Uh, people were set in at least one car. A limousine was set on fire uh, there in Washington, D.C. and other areas. Was that did you see that violence? I feel like this is a clinic in logical fallacies. Do you understand how did you see to that one happen? incident of violence does not allow us to make any generalizations about whether liberals or conservatives have a higher or lower tendency towards violence? Is that again conceptually is do that you something remember you understand? When, do you remember when the Tea Party rallies were happening? I, I generally remember yeah. there there were no violence. That's None. not true. There was Zero. plenty of violence. No, you but had, again, if you I were had to the say left objectively conservatives are more violent because I can point to one incident of Tea Party violence, I would be committing the same logical fallacy you're committing. You I mean, had the a really children hard time believing this is a serious conversation. You had the children of the left coming out and attacking the Tea Party and pretending that it was members of the Tea Party itself. What I call this conflict engagement. Mm -hmm. yeah, conflict so engagement in, in the lines at Trump rallies. No. We're starting anarchy here. They're starting confrontations in the line. Initiating the conflict. It is not hard to get some of these assholes to pop off mm -hmm. and draw them to punch you. We have to have a central kind of Agitator training? Yep. Yeah. Remember the Iowa State Fair thing where Scott Walker grabbed the um, sign out of the dude's hand and then the dude gets kind of roughed up right in front of the stage right there yeah. on camera? Yeah. That was all us. We planted multiple people around him and in the back to make sure there wasn't just a action that happened up front. There was also a reaction that happened out back. Shirley Teeter, the 69-year-old sufferer of COPD. According to numerous news stories at the time, she was assaulted at a Trump rally in North Carolina by Trump supporter Richard Campbell. The media played her story across the country for days. She was one of our activists. You know what I'm saying? We have mentally ill people mm. that we pay to do shit. Make no mistake. Over the last 20 years, I have paid off a few homeless guys to do some crazy stuff. Are you union guys? A lot of free union guys? They'll do whatever oh, yeah. you want. Yeah. They're rock and roll. Level when up. I need to get something done in Arkansas, mm -hmm. right. the first guy I call is the head of the AFL-CIO down there. Uh -huh. Because he will say, what do you need? And I will say, I need a guy who will do this and this. And they find that guy. And that guy will be like, yeah, hell, let's do it. David, do you remember the 99% march with the Occupy Wall Street there in New York and around the country. Remember when that was happening? I do. And do you remember there were reports of sexual assaults and rape and defecation on police cars and they just uh, destroyed the areas that they protest in? And then during uh, Donald Trump's uh, uh, run against Hillary Clinton in Chicago, Chicago, they had to shut down one of his rallies because the children of the lie on the left uh, uh, protested and threatened and it got so out of control and, it, and that was on video. So the Chicago protest when they shut all that, that was us. None okay. of this is supposed to come back to us. Me and I did the Chicago Trump event when we shut down the light bulbs. Yeah. Bragging about a protest last March that turned extremely violent and led the Trump campaign to cancel a huge rally. Fights broke out between protesters and Trump supporters, and two Chicago police officers were injured. 
Based on our reporting, the event was not spontaneous. And then we also did the Arizona. Shut down the main road to the Trump event for hours, trapping hundreds of cars. Do you remember any of those things? I do. And were that um, radical left violence? What, have what's, have what's you the ever sure have I you seen anyone on the right carry on in that manner? Of course, of course, right-wingers are violent all the time. We have countless instances of uh, gun-toting right-wingers, protesting, violence, hate crimes, etc. I just, is this really David, what your audience wants to hear? David, I mean, that, this doesn't seem interesting. David, you have never seen people on the right, on the side of good, acting in that way, so you're being dishonest. Just no, what as, you're doing is intellectually just dishonest. Just as in your article. As you've never seen people on the right on the side of good, which allows you to take anyone on the right who's violent and you say, well, they're not on the side of good, so they don't count. I mean, these are really sort of like amateurish um, distractions that you use. David, you're not being honest in your discussion. But I appreciate you coming on. You are a typical liberal, and we got what we expected from you. I think that we certainly got what we expected from you. That's for yeah. sure. No facts. Thank you for coming on, man. Not dishonest. Prove me. Prove it. He will not us. <laughs> Don't vote Trump. <laughs> Don't vote Trump. Yeah. Don't vote Trump. Thanks, David. The Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show. Don't Trump. Yeah. Don't Trump. Yeah. Don't Trump. I like white folks, but I don't like you. All the n****s in the hood want to fight you. Yeah, that's one of those white boy Trump supporters. The guy said, don't worry about it. We're going to beat his ass. And then punches were thrown. And the next thing I know, I had five people on me, and I was kicked in the head. They were in my car, stealing all my stuff. I tried to go to the car. I got hit some more, and he took off. He was doing 70 or 80 down Roosevelt, swerving. And he was trying to have me fall off, and I knew if I somehow let go, I was going to die. And a hate crime is not the same thing as protesting. We have to be very deliberate about and that. And what, what do you say to the people who, are, who dragged a poor white guy out of a car and beat him? Oh, my goodness, poor Trump. white people. Please, oh my, stop. Stop it, Carl. We're scared. You see, I'm getting kicked and punched. One of the guy, um, African-American at the bus stop, said, yeah, that's one of those white boy Trump supporters. It's a predominantly African-American neighborhood. They started yelling things about, oh, there's one of those Trump white boys. What's happening to America? You're supposed to be able to vote in peace. It's supposed to be part of our democracy. Are you racist? Am I what? What, what, are you, what are you think of these people now? Why? Why are you stay you here? Said, are you racist? Am I racist? Yeah. No, I'm not a racist. Why do you ask that? I'm looking to just make a statement by being here, and I think the protesters are doing the same. And props to them for the ones who are doing it non-violently, but I think that's a very rare thing indeed. Are so. So I was watching over one of your uh, one of your more recent videos, and uh, with the Reverend guy, and he asked, you know, where's the violence in the right wing? And I just happened to think. You know, with the Bundy Ranch incident, then the t government takeover incident, and then there was uh, actually a couple of cops that got uh, shot and killed by a right winger just down south in Iowa. Why do you think it is that the uh, police department seem to align more with the uh, right wing uh, more than the left wing? And f the police say whatever the f you want to say. Now this is the real Valerie Castile. I don't give no f no mo. Don't let this white man tell you that violence is wrong. Every damn thing that he got, he got it by being violent. 100% of revolutions, victims fighting their oppressors, victims fighting their bullies have been successful through bloodshed. Zero have been successful just over simply protesting. The real ones, the alpha ones, we know what it's going to take. Revenue and blood. 
revenue and blood revenue and blood Let's take it back do what you do if i had it my way it's on and cracking but here in minnesota this crack of bama ass mother state these mother I hope that mother died tonight. Cause it's 187 on an undercover cop. So ain't nobody gonna perform for Donald Trump, huh? Which one of you jigaboo ass niggas gonna be the first one to do it? I'm waiting. I'm gonna roast the fuck out one of you Uncle Tom ass niggas for doing it. Which one of you niggas gonna do it first? Osby's the one that's performed for him, sir. Dress to look just like President Donald Trump as he's assassinated on stage. Look as his character is stabbed to death. His white dress shirt soaked in blood. I don't think it's disrespectful for the president to be murdered on stage. The audience applauded with a standing ovation. Freedom! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to pause. You are inciting terrorists. The blood of Steve Scalise is on your head. Let me tell you, that motherfucker is the was he, the one the one that was shot, the scaphy guy. I mean that guy. The, the, what's his name? Chase Scalise. No, this motherfucker. Okay. I hate so, this motherfucker. Yeah. I'm Phil, I'm glad he Phil. got shot. We've laid in I'm our. I'm glad he got shot. Dude, Dude. I'm not gonna fucking say that in public. You don't I wish he was fucking dead. He's a punk. He's a dog. He's a pig. He's a con. A bull artist. A mutt who doesn't know what he's talking about. Doesn't do his homework. Doesn't care. Thinks he's gaming society. Doesn't pay his taxes. He's an idiot. Colin Powell said it best. He's a national disaster. He's an embarrassment to this country. It makes me so angry that this country has gotten to this point. That this fool, this bozo, has wound up where he has. He talks how he wants to punch people in the face. Well, I'd like to punch him in the face. I see that everybody's a hypocrite because everybody's imagined themselves standing there with his head. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe at least half the country. I guess you'd call it the left side. I, I just call it the, the sensible side. Covering for this president is like putting makeup on a melanoma. You know, not only unsightly, but it's dangerous. You know, I had a dream the other night about that I was playing golf with Donald Trump and I was standing beside him with a club in my hand and I was, you know, considering my options when I suddenly woke up. You know, it was one of those dreams where you want to just get back to sleep so you can finish it, you know? Yeah. I think he needs help. Yeah. When was the last time an actor assassinated the president? <laughs> when was the last time an actor assassinated the president? <laughs> And um, maybe it's time. I'm angry. Yes, I am outraged. Yes, I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. Say this with me. We choose love. We choose love. We choose love. We choose love. As you look back, <laughs> you. No question. Do I seem unreasonable to yes, you? Yes, you seem unreasonable. Because they seem more Go with away. You. Get out of my f***ing face. I will break your camera. You don't have the right to. Whoa. Guys, let's calm down. Calm down. You don't have the right to film hey. before you go. What she does? Just she like. Yeah, I do. You just hit me in the face. It doesn't matter. Do I deserve this? Yeah. I'm the problem, you victim. Okay. Let's take a minute. Uh, David, the Woman's March, that Dirty Woman's March website, had a huge list of partners, including Planned Parenthood, environmentalist, feminist, anti-gun group, Muslims, Occupy Wall Street, radical homosexuals and transgenders, unions, NAACP, the National Urban League. I wanted to ask, were 
were there any good and decent and honest organizations that supported the Dirty March, Women's March? Listen, Jesse, that's a sort of bogus question. Obviously, you don't think that those organizations are good, and I'm not going to be able to convince you that they are. Were there any good and decent organizations supporting the Dirty Women March? It's it's a silly question because the organizations you listed, I think, are good, but you don't. So where where will that conversation get us? It was an interesting interview. What do you think about it? Uh, I don't know. It felt it felt really shallow. Yeah, I sure did. That it was just. He got hung up on this uh, paid, unpaid, and then he and then he's citing hate crimes, which are a total farce. And with this, because <laughs> you were talking about the the left being more hateful and violent than the right, and he cited hate crimes or something, and then he cited people who are who are toting guns and calling that violence. That didn't make any <laughs> sense to me. Also, I noticed he didn't he didn't want to move the conversation forward. Yeah, he just wanted to stay with that only, for whatever reason. Well, he's a facts type of a guy. He likes to gather information, and he didn't sound like he wanted to get into why he didn't support Trump, why he didn't, why he thought that those organizations were good, because you talked about how they were evil, right? And you asked if if there were any good ones, and he said, "I don't see the point in talking about that." It was interesting in that he would deny that the the far left liberals were violent and that they've been. Uh, well, he said that they. He acknowledged that those those instances were violent. But no, when we talked but about, but he, would, he wouldn't. The, uh, he wouldn't acknowledge that they were, on the whole, more violent than the right. Yeah. And they said, yeah, you know, I think the reason we weren't able to have really like the conversation we wanted with David is because he's a facts guy who wants to like investigate things and find stuff out. And it's like, yes, that was the reason why we weren't able to be on the same page. And do you think his burden of proof argument wasn't, uh, do you think your burden of proof argument wasn't getting through to him? Oh my God, or it wasn't Was he through. just pretending that it wasn't so he wouldn't have to address it? No, I think he genuinely didn't understand. Like uh, afterwards I realized what I should have said to him is, how do you prove that something didn't happen? Like, what would be an example of proof of something that didn't happen? And my guess yeah. is he would have just said something like Occupy Wall Street or something like that. If you're making the extraordinary claim that protesters have been paid. Not an extraordinary claim. In the case of leftists. I do know that there are times when protesters are paid to be there. I used to work for a union at one time, and I used to at one time help organize the protest uh, against conservatives or, uh, or businesses, and so I do know how they operate.